In today's Psychological Operations for Pharma Compliance report, researchers from Argentina designed and tested a WhatsApp chatbot to help prompt people to get boosted with COVID-19 vaccines. The randomized control trial had just shy of 250,000 participants and used Argentina's Ministry of Health records to measure vaccine uptake, with the analysis revolving around the impact this chatbot service had on vaccination behavior. Researchers discovered that the behaviorally informed chatbot more than tripled COVID-19 vaccine uptake compared with the control group and nearly doubled uptake compared with the one-way message reminder. Because of this success, they conclude that communications tools designed with behaviorally informed functionalities that simplify the vaccine user journey can increase vaccination more than traditional message reminders and may have applications to other health behaviors. The initiative comes at a time when governments globally are under increasing pressure to boost vaccination compliance. As researchers note, finding low-cost, scalable, and effective interventions to increase vaccination rates remains a critical challenge for governments worldwide extending well beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. Of note, researchers pointed to over 100 countries that rolled out personalized chatbots to provide COVID-19 information throughout the pandemic, with at least 65 of these bots developed or endorsed by national governments. The supplementary information details which countries used these chatbots, and it shows that here in Canada, the province of British Columbia still uses the COVID-19 digital assistant to answer common questions about COVID-19 and BC's response to it. I wonder how much that little buddy continues to cost the taxpayers. In the United States, three different health departments were utilizing AI chatbots to tackle the real monster under the bed. COVID-19 misinformation, of course. Now, in this particular study, the Argentinian chatbot was designed to help ease the process of getting vaccinated using five core behavioral functionalities. In the first functionality, users received personalized information on their eligibility based on government data. Second, they could locate nearby vaccination centers using their postcode or WhatsApp's location feature. Third, they were prompted to plan when and where to get vaccinated. Fourth, a message reminder was sent the day before their appointment. And fifth, users received a Google Maps link with directions to their chosen center. Throughout this process, users could respond to and interact with the chatbot's prompts by selecting from a menu of options. Those set to receive this chatbot service were chosen from one of three phone databases owned by the Argentina Ministry of Health. Interestingly, this service was only directed at those who had received at least one COVID-19 shot. The researchers go on to say individuals who had not received any doses by this point in the pandemic were probably unwilling to get vaccinated. And so we believe they would not benefit from this chatbot service. As mentioned, this service resulted in an increased uptake of the COVID-19 vaccine. The behaviorally informed chatbot more than tripled COVID-19 vaccinations compared with the control group who received no message. And the researchers conducted all of this work without informed consent. The study was assessed by an independent research ethics committee at a university hospital, which approved it before implementation and accepted that the study would not seek participants' informed consent. They claim that doing so would have been disproportionate to the interventions tested and would have potentially affected the validity of the study's findings. As such, the participants were not compensated for their participation. Once again, we see governments and researchers bypassing informed consent in the name of public health, using behavioral manipulation tools like AI chatbots to coerce compliance, all while dancing around the re ethical responsibility to inform the very people whose lives and choices they are attempting to shape. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. Forget the chat bots, just send your own email directly to Health Minister Mark Holland at nomoreshots.ca, calling on him to revoke market authorization for these injections. That's at nomoreshots.ca.